well, well, hello. Well, hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing the BFFs resident, and I had so much fun with this. So for the makeovers, to sped up a little bit more, guys, because this build took me everything in total took me about three and a half hours, four hours. So I have um, sped it up a lot faster than my previous videos. So what I'm doing here is just redoing Travis Scott. He is a nerd, so I gave him more of a nerdy look. Um, Liberty Lee over here, she is also a geek. So I tried to give her a more innocent kind of look. I didn't want her to look too... I don't know. I didn't want her to look too, like, normal. I just wanted to give her a different look. I don't know. I don't want to generalize and say, like, all geeks look a certain way. But I feel like there is a sort of innocence with people that spend their lives in gaming or comic books. They don't, I mean, they look a lot more innocent than most people. Um, I think it's a good thing. It's not a bad thing. I don't mean that in any negative way. So I just wanted to give her a very different look. I thought her, her vibes were very 80s when I went through the, the get-ups that she had. It was very 80s. So I changed that all just to give her also a more modern look. It is a modern um, city or town that she's staying in. So she has to look a little bit more presentable. And so I really love doing the females. They're really fun. As you can see, I take a lot longer on the females just to make sure that their outfits are just perfect for me or what I feel like is good for them. And yeah, I just have a lot more fun. And here we have... Oh my gosh. Holiday. Anyway, I can't even read her name at this moment. <laughs> so she is a friend of the world, and so I felt like she was more cultured and she came from a very good upbringing. So her style for me was a little cheerleader, sort of Barbie girl. You know, because in the description they're unlikely friends, so it means they're all just so different. So for him, it was that he was nerdy, and for Liberty Lee, she was just she was just a bit geeky. So she seemed more like the newspaper girl to me, and he seemed like the science guy, and she seemed like the cheerleader. So <clears throat> her outfits were all based on that cheerleader vibes, more rich and in my so the house that we got is so beautiful that it seemed like her parents had bought the house for all three of them and they were all just staying there paying rent even though they didn't have to pay rent to the parents um they did try and pay them back for the house <clears throat> but it was her it was their gift to their daughter and what they're doing is they're taking that money every month and they're putting it away so that whenever there's an emergency or they need money they will just take that money out for them so <clears throat> i'm so sorry my voice is terrible today um so they are i feel like that's what they're doing with the money they don't really need the money they're super rich and so she's got a six pack i don't know it looks really weird <laughs> i don't really like muscular girls i mean i like to tone i like i think a girl should be toned but i don't think that she should have like really big muscles and i don't mean that offensively for anyone who does have muscles i mean if that's what you like that's what you like so as again, I just did a quick flyby. You don't really see much because of the fact that it was, it sped up so much. And I really like this house because there's a lot of openness to it. it it's a very large house. Um, I did have a lot of fun building it though. That's why it took me so long um, because it is so large. <clears throat> and here yeah, I'm just like figuring out how to do the yard because I didn't want it to be overly big, you know, I just, I wanted it to be big, but not like crazy, too much furnishings. It ended up being four, four bedrooms, three bathrooms, we have a dining room, lounge, study, oh, it's really cool. So this that I'm doing right now is actually going to be where the spare bedroom is for the parents, when the parents come over. So obviously these three kids, I feel like they're very young adults, so like they've just finished school sort of thing. And that's why they're all still living together. They're very excited to still be friends and they love each other very much. So they're very young adults. They've just sort of started their lives and they wouldn't have been able to afford a house by themselves. There's no way 
in today's economy there's no way you could do that especially in willow creek because i feel like willow creek now with the whole modern aspect of it the houses would be super expensive it's almost like it's all new developments and i really like this wooden uh, texture wallpaper but i didn't end up using it i think i used it for the the rest of everything like the highlights or the what do you call that the featured walls and stuff I don't use too much, I don't know if I use this, I can't remember this build, um, I did record this on, when did I record, I recorded this on Monday right after the, the evening of the Bell, um, the goth residence, I did record this because I just wanted to have something for today, which today is Wednesday, fantastically, and I just pre-recorded the actual build, but I'm doing the voiceover this morning because I was so busy yesterday. I had no time to do the voiceover, so as I said before, I do work a full-time job. It's crazy busy and yeah, I just got to deal with it. So I'm just figuring out what I want the aesthetic of the house to be. Don't worry, none of this stays here, it's just weird. <laughs> I don't know, my thought process when going through and building a house is so weird. I, I changed my mind so many times. I almost feel like I should pre-build a house and then rebuild it. Get, well, except for the furnishing, I just mean the outside, just so I can get the theme of what I want. And the reason why I did this is put the windows inside, is because I didn't put any curtains in this house at all. So I wanted it to still be quite private, where people from the street wouldn't be able to see what was going on in the house. I mean, there are a few sections that you could see straight into, but most of it is covered by the other walls by them or next to them so I did um, I did try to just remove <clears throat> or, or just add some of their privacy in so that you know they could they could just um, not have any curtains I just didn't want to furnish too much of this house it is insanely large so I ensured that every single bedroom had an outdoor space so that's why those balconies on the outside so it just gives them more time to themselves or anything to what they wanted to do because I, de I decorated the house with a singular theme in mind so it's very dark but it's it doesn't feel like the goths residence where it's like that dark and mysterious kind of um decor it's more like it's just a monochrome house there's nothing too crazy about the darkness and yeah so it's very monochrome and I do brighten up a few of the areas nicely like here you can see the white and I had I just really love this build a lot it was so much fun doing it as I said I think I've said that like six times I, I don't know what's going on with me so here in the kitchen I wanted it to be extremely large because I feel like when you are so many people in a household it's really difficult to still have your own personal space and the reason why I kept it this big and not made it smaller is because if they ever get married I feel like they're best friends for life if they ever get married and then in the beginning of their marriage they're more than likely to stay here and enjoy you know enjoy each other's company for a little bit longer and the moment they like have kids that's when they would um, move out and be like okay maybe we should get our own place so that's why I just left everything I left everything so big because essentially they would end up being six people here before they have kids so yes this is able for three couples or even four couples because there is an extra space for the parents to sleep over if they wanted to stay over for the weekend so it's quite a functional it's a very functional home and yeah so the kitchen I think the kitchen and is it um the kitchen and what's her name Liberty Lee's room I think it's Liberty Lee's room yeah it's Liberty Lee's room is my favorite I do also love the dining room it is so beautiful um, yeah, so I just try to keep this all modern. I'm so sorry. I feel like I'm getting sick, guys, and I don't want to be sick. I really don't want to be sick now because I've been keeping up with my schedule, and I feel like being sick is going to hamper it. So here is like sort of a organizational board where they're able to let each other know of anything that's happening, and they can just dump all their stuff here when they get home from work. So that was the idea or the thought process behind this. Also, I was really trying to get that to lean against the plant. 
Um, so yeah, that was that was the idea behind here that this is where they dumped everything and planned out the week. So if they needed to, if they had some friends coming over that weren't the friends obviously in the home, they would be able to say, okay, hey guys, we're having a braai or barbecue. Sorry, I'm so used to being South African saying braai. Um, and they could just inform them of anything that needs to be done, bills need to be paid, or rent is due, whatever the, whatever they needed to tell each other. So entryways, I feel like, are a little bit of my down, it's a little bit of a downfall for me, because, and I feel like the landscaping in this house was done really well, so I feel like I'm improving on landscaping, because I'm not trying to shy away from it anymore, I just decided, you know, it's something I'm bad at, it's something I have to work at, so now I'm really trying my best to do more landscaping. So this here is the parents' bedroom. This is where guests would stay over if they had friends staying over or if their parents came to visit. I'm sorry, I need to have a sip of tea. My apologies while I take a break. Thank you. And yeah, so this is the living area. It's very, it's not very big um the space is big but the seating area is not actually that big i wanted to keep it quite um intimate and keep everything nice and cozy so i really like this um design i love the black and white and the wallpaper is so beautiful like if you can see when i'm turning the screen every now and again those patterns on the wallpaper shine a little bit and there is the ghost gnome that i said i would use again so yes i did use that again at least <laughs> and yeah so it's very cozy and you can see that when their parents bought this house they're more than likely the ones that decorated it they obviously left the decorating of the bedrooms to the, each individual person of where they would sleep because they left it up to them to decide. They did buy them the house, but they wanted them to be adults about it. So they left all the decision making and all the choices to them uh, when it came to the, their own personal bedrooms. But it seems like the mother decorated the rest of the house and she got everything they needed for them because they're super loaded. And when we do do her mom's house, because I think the girl holiday is summer holiday's daughter. I might be mistaken. I don't know. I will research that. So when we do their holiday home, I'll be able to let you guys know. And speaking of holiday homes, I'm thinking of in the, what is the, in Outdoor Adventures. I can't remember the world right now. Granite Falls. There we go. I want to create a a home from all the rich sims so like the goths would have a holiday home there so i'll design a holiday home in their style well the, the interior will be in their style obviously the exterior will be according to the granite falls theme that we do for that time so yes um i was thinking of doing that for all the rich sims for now because we have so many of those rich sims and we have quite a few sims that have traveled with us through different times um, through the sims one so i do want to highlight those sims and do something special for them so this here is holiday's bedroom and because she's rich her mom decided to do her bedroom for her so she didn't really have much choice in the matter and she's even though she loves pink and she loves being this girl she's actually really doesn't want to be this girl anymore and she's trying to he you know she's trying to do more things towards that's why she's friend of the world because she's all into green living eco living she you know she wants to do better at life and she wants to try better so this is why her outdoor area is very open and she has plants and she has flowers arranging table because that's what she's into and she was able to do this area herself so I know it's conflicting to the ones on the inside but that was my thought process there and then this here is Travis's bedroom and because he is I'm so sorry I'm so sick um, because he is the nerd you know he, he does well nerds are generally smart and he really is into all of his books and he's into studying and he's constantly trying to improve himself so his room is very executive you know he's he looks like he's an executive in the company even though he still 
quite young, but that's what he wants to get to. So he's very into the logic skill and everything in his outdoor area is based upon that. So he loves gaming, you know, he loves playing chess with his friends and he loves just hanging out. So I did also put the cooler there because he loves hanging out. Um, and then this is just the general seating area for the parents, which I also, I just duplicated this on the other side because it was just a very general seating area. There was nothing crazy special about it. And here I realized that I never put any lighting other than, this is why I don't like placing those other lights because I always place them as placeholders in the beginning of a build just so I can see what's going on. And then halfway through I realized, oh wait, I haven't, I haven't placed anything else. So yeah, that sucks. And that always happens to me. So, so if you find if you ever download my house of the gallery and it has those lights in it, just know why. And this one here is Liberty Lees, and she's very into actually the science and healthcare industry. Um, I think she just wants to be a genius. She's a genius at everything, so she's super smart. Uh, but I don't know why she's geeky. I don't know. That's not making sense to me right now. I can't remember my thought process behind here. Um, but there we go, she has the medical equipment to test your health. And yeah, so her area is, I actually really like this because what I did here is I just put those plants nicely behind, like sort of a, just trying to make the room slightly smaller, or well, the area slightly smaller, but still fit a, a chair and table in there. And yeah, here and now we're going to just duplicate that seating area just so it's, it's nice and uniformed. And we'll start on the outdoor area. So here is me attempting landscaping again. And the first attempt wasn't really good. I and mean, then this attempt is much better when I rearrange this. I really, I don't know, it's something small, it's cute, it's nothing crazy. It's just like a little overgrown area. And I really love doing the bathrooms in this home. For some reason, the bathrooms turned out really nicely. You'll see in the screenshots, they just look so nice and the whole design of the house feels like it's brought together in this in this bathroom. So you'll notice that in all the common areas, everything's black and white, everything's nice and clean. You know, the mother really took the time to choose out the, the decor in the home just to make sure that it's usable and it's easy to maintain, no, not too much clutter. And then in the bedrooms, they obviously could do whatever they wanted to do because that's their own personal space. And everything does work in this bathroom. I did test everything out. Everything works in the house. It looks very nice. I didn't do too much um, areas where, you know, there's too much stuff on top of each other. And I took that door out in that area because I just wanted that to be the roof. You know, I didn't want that to be another outdoor area. They have so many outdoor spaces here. So it just made me think that maybe they just really love the outdoors. And I don't know about you guys, but in my home, we have these massive built-in cupboards um, in our passageways so that's really cool and to success. I wanted to emulate that by putting that over there in the passageway and <clears throat> now we're just gonna go through and do the outdoor area and I wanted everything to be closed off so you couldn't just walk into the yard the only way to get into the yard is through the house actually you can't even get in the yard from the outside so that's really cool. And I stole this idea. I'm going to try and link the person's channel. I can't remember off the top of my head, but um, when EA announced their sim camp, I actually was looking through some of the people that were going and I found this channel that does this. So I'll just check for it and link it down there. And this is an idea I had the other night of building the built-in rise or for built-in barbecue area. And also, I'm going to say goodbye because <clears throat> it is almost time for the screenshots and my voice is not making this. So, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. We are running a competition, so if you'd like to win a game pack, you'll just have to like and, and comment on three of the videos that I've made in the Willow Creek Renovations. And I'll announce the winner in the last episode of the Willow Creek Renovations. And yes, um, you have to be subscribed to win. So... Let me know down below what you think and if you have any suggestions for any families that must go into Willow Creek, let me know. And thank you again for watching and I will see you on Friday. Have a lovely week guys. Thanks. Bye.